And I mentioned now the act of taking lending, uh, of making loans and uh, taking in deposits. Uh, and this slide, by the way, um, I would still keep, even though I might be doing business via an app. <laughs> As I write there on slide eight, doing business via a smartphone mobile app doesn't remove the principles that I've illustrated below. That's a very old diagram from when, <laughs> from many years ago when I was in the market. I drew branches in the middle and customers on either side of the branch. Some customers come into the branch to deposit their savings. Another of us was come in, customers come into the bank, the branch, the bank branch to, 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 to request a loan. The fact that they might not physically walk into a branch doesn't remove the principle of that illustration, which is the intermediation between those who have cash, or liquidity, or, you know, savings, and those who uh, require cash to, to borrow. OK, so uh, that's what that illustration is, banking intermediation. And that, of course, gives rise to the mismatch, the maturity transformation as well, which is the expression I want to use next. Banks engage in maturity transformation. That is the customers bringing in deposits on the left hand side of that of that diagram, or that illustration. They often don't want to commit their deposits for too long a term so they can withdraw it either the next day or shortly afterwards without any penalty. The borrowers, on the other hand, don't want to take out a loan for just a day or two. Um, even a microfinance loan uh, usually has a minimum payment of at least 30 days. Um, but that's a whole separate industry, by the way, microfinance. Uh, banks engaging in microfinance, although they're still doing banking. But they'll want to take out longer term loans. And there is this mismatch between the two. And that is the process of maturity transformation. Now, this slide I could have showed you right early on when I, the, when I, when I introduced the expression a maturity transformation, uh, illustration of the mismatch at the top, the contractual mismatch, the contractual maturity or tenor of a loan is almost invariably greater term, a longer tenor than the contractual maturity of the deposit. So that gives us an explicit transformation, maturity transformation, and this gap profile. The second bullet point there on the right hand side says liquidity profile is a mismatched gap. And that is an expression of the liquidity risk exposure of the bank, this mismatch between two, the funding mismatch. When we consider behavioural tenors, the fact that not all loans go to their full term, they repay early, and not all deposits are, are stay on the balance sheet for their contractual maturity, they might stay a lot longer. So we have a, 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 a behavioural uh, mismatch, which sometimes brings in the overall gap a little bit, because, they, because the behavioural life of loans might be less than contractual, hence the, the dotted line box at the top right there in that second chart. And the behavioural life of deposits could be longer than their contractual tenor. So we bring in that mismatch, but nevertheless, the mismatch is still there. We can never eliminate it, not explicitly, unless we choose not to do maturity transformation. We match funded everything. But of course, that's no longer what banks are here to do. Banks don't do matched funded business. Not generally, anyway.